Do you have a grenade pin for this? Or like a small Allen key or something? Yeah, actually, up a, a um, I don't know what grenade key is. Yeah, I am bringing. Oh, you make a grenade pin. Yeah, it's like a grenade pin. Let um, me give you a small Allen key. It'll just work just fine. Yeah. You want it, or later? Later. Okay. That's a tensioner right there. Right. Don't drop it in there. <laughs> Can you check the guides to what condition they're in, see if they need to be serviced, or how do you tell? You can only see this one right now. Uh huh. There's no real scarring. So that's good. Yeah, there's no grooves. That's pretty good. Okay. So, um, I just, most of the time do it by feel, mm -hmm. but if it's a top dead center, you bring it back to 20 degrees. Which is the second one. Oh, to give it a little bit of slack on the chain. Right. So. All right. I like holding hold the tensioner, but you don't have to. So now I'm going to crank this motor back and fill the chain. And I can see it slack up. Yep. Okay. The reason you set it atop that center uh -huh. is that's where the cams are going to be happy and they're not going to pop. Yeah, right there. This chain's tight. Mm -hmm. this is oh, as nice. As possible. Okay. Very nice. So you do awesome. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Do you want like a magnetic tool or anything? You're fine. Okay. Uh, like a coolant drain, drain bolt. Oh, there it goes. Oh, there was some coolant in the block. These thirteens. Those, I think so. Yeah. Do you want me to give you a tool? Yeah. Okay. Do the water pumps get go bad if they sit too long? Yeah, well, everything does. Seals go bad. They like to be lubricated by the motor. Right. Too bad they don't sell a gasket that you could just put on here instead of having to use the RTV. Because, like, you're going to have to scrape all that, right? Yep. And it's just going to go inside the block, right? Unless you put something in there. Like, put some rags around it. Yeah. Most of the time. This is pretty cool. Wow. I'm gonna clean that off, right? It's a good thing this water pump was leaking. No shit. Yeah. <laughs> In fact. Wow. See right here? Uh-huh. Dude. There's crustacean. <laughs> All right. There was some crustacean. So good that, stuff. So that's how it, that's so how you this, know, huh? Yeah. If it's leaking coolant by the power air conditioning. Uh-huh. That means it's leaking because if you see that, but hole it's right we here, it's weeping externally, not yes, internally, right. right? Okay. It this little hole right here is the we is considered the weep hole, and that'll mm -hmm. go down between the two cases, between the. Why don't they just seal it up so it doesn't weep? <laughs> because then it'll blow the seal and it'll throw it into the coolant. Okay. And then people replace head gaskets. Right, right. Thinking it's a blown head gasket. Wow, that's pretty awesome, dude. That we did this. Because if you weren't here, I'd probably just read the directions. So what was the, tri the trick to that? You said if you screw something up, you really screw yourself over or something? Well, if the chain jumps, you're done. What do you mean if it jumps? If you don't push this motor back correctly, uh -huh. and this goes click, and this pops, if you hear all, if you hear this just pop, then you got to pull the cover off and redo the timing chains because you just jumped a, a tooth somewhere. Wow. Okay. Because you... you the cams want to rotate. They want to rotate. Yes. Right. The cams want to rotate. Because it's a V6. Here's the assembly glue that you wanted to 
Put that on the oil side, and then I'll give you the training side. Here. I love this stuff, man. I've been using this in all the hoses. It does wonders. I don't know if you've ever used it before, but I like it. This one right here. Where are your hose grease? Mm-hmm. It's awesome. I don't like putting any kind of grease on regular hoses. Especially with spray clamps. Yeah, you know what's funny is I tried to, I, I put it on, and uh, are those the new ones? Yeah. One's bigger, one's smaller. Okay. In the directions, the one's supposed to have a white mark. It does, the one on the right, on your, on your left. Okay. Yeah. Um, some of them it has a yellow mark. Mm -hmm. Some of them will have a brown mark or a blue mark. It just depends on the year. Okay. Uh, the easiest way to realize is one's small, one's big. Mm -hmm. If you look at the pump, big, small. See how it has that little lip? Yep. One's bigger, one's smaller. So the smaller one. Mm -hmm. That's the, the cool inside. one goes on first. That's the oil side, right? You want to put the yeah. lube on it now or later? You use that same stuff, right? Yeah. And this is summer blend, I think. Summer blend. <laughs> no, because it's, if it's blue, it's winter blend, I believe. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, green is summer blend. Yeah, because of the heat. Right. Make sure you wipe off the grit off those fins. There you go. That's a good water pump. No problems with it? Yeah. Brand new. <laughs> Brand new. And I like the goo because it just okay. makes it, it also makes it easier to slide it on. Right. Uh, the less we fight, at, fight with it, the easier it goes in, the less chance of cutting the seal. Well, less chance of having to do the job all over again. Right. So, that's just... It's amazing how, you know, seemingly simple it actually is with, uh... You know. Whoa, with the radiator out? <clears throat> well, this, the, the water pump, all it is is just a couple O-rings and some screws to hold it in. I mean, that's really... That's all it is, you know? Yeah. It's pretty interesting. <clears throat> Got that one? Yeah, just a little boogered up from pushing the rotors off when it hits the rotors. Oh. Uh, you want a different screw? I got a thread repair kit too. Yeah, I just uh, want to use it as a handle now. So, that's a good idea. Stick it in just Any, enough so that the chain is going to... You don't want to like pull in the chain or do anything like that, right? No, you got to be real careful with that. Right. So we're just trying to make sure we get past the chain. Once you get slack on the chain, is there really anything else that you need to worry about? Nope. That just popped. I'm glad we changed that water pump out. I was actually considering not changing it for a while. And I was like, oh, you know, why change it if it's not leaking? But apparently it's leaking, so it's a good thing we changed it. It was just starting to leak. Yeah. You know, I always try to be careful and try to do things right, you know. Just like your typical, you know. Lube tech. <laughs> I think you're beyond lube tech, wouldn't you? <laughs> I would hope so. Okay, um. See, there's that groove in there. You want to make sure the chain 
is in that groove. Well, there's multiple grooves, right? You want right, to make but, sure it's in all of them, But right? the chain has a shoulder and it has to sit right in there. So if you okay. pull the chain back and forth, mm -hmm. try to move it this way and back forth, you'll know if it's in. Okay. Okay, so now that that's there, we're going to hold this guy and we're going to start cranking the motor back and keep pressure on this side. We're going to keep turning the motor oh, until it, you'll feel it. It should be back to top dead center. Mm -hmm. You just, you don't want to move the motor or the water pump. You just want to make sure it's pretty much set there. Right. Make sure there's no fibers because there is no gasket. So fibers or junk or debris. You want to just hit it with some brake clean? No, I just, just your, if you're not using gloves, your hand, just want to pull the fibers off. Insert. Line up the bolts. What if there are some fibers? It just doesn't. It starts leaking out. No, it just. Oh, it loses tension. Lose, loses tension. Um. Interesting. So, so that's actually when. Hold on a sec. You're on the. You're on the cable. So that's actually sometimes when you start these things up when they haven't it'll been started in a while. Clack, 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 clack. Yeah, it'll clack a lot because the chain's loose. Right. Uh, Does that actually hurt anything? No, it's just annoying. Uh, so if somebody has that problem all the time, then they need a new tensioner. Right. You got to loosen. This that, is the right? most critical torque spec I think in the whole motor that I worry about. And we're using a cheap Craftsman torque wrench. <laughs> <laughs> this is inch pounds. What do you need? Foot pounds? And I believe it's uh, 80, 88, 80. The torque spec for this one is between 61 and 82. 61 and 82. So, 81. So we don't, if, because if you over torque these, uh -huh. you can collapse the cylinder too. I've seen it happen. Oh, really? And then the piston, once you let it go, will jam itself. Let me in. double check the thing on here. Okay, yeah, you're fine. Craftsman. Just because I, everything on my toolbox is used to snap on. I do have some Craftsman for home. You know, that torque wrench works fine. I use it for spark plugs and everything. I mean, I don't have problems with it. Okay. Let's just hope it's accurate enough right now. It is. Okay? Yeah. So, at this point, if you watch the chain, when I pull the pin... It's going to shoot out. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. I'll push on it just to make oh, sure. Oh, it's got no oil in it. So the motor's got to get started and it'll fill right. up with oil. But if you looked at those teeth, they were right there. Mm -hmm. It'll I come see back. the teeth. Now, without oil pressure, mm -hmm. this will move back. It'll push this back. And see how it's back two teeth? It won't go all the way back. Mm -hmm. um, when the chain starts getting noisy mm -hmm. and these start going back, the issue sometimes also is, is that the, the tensioner's right about to do one more latch. So what happens is in the first morning, oh, it so goes as it, back. So as the chain stretches, it, it compensates yeah, for that. Right. And it, it's it's too loose, and it's not enough tension yet on it. Mm -hmm. um, so how do you fix that? you got to go in by wait, hand. And or you can go in here and maybe give it a little bit You get a pry bar. Pry but bar. the problem <laughs> is if, if, if yeah. you put too much on it, mm -hmm. it you could snap the chain when mm -hmm. it gets hot. So the best thing is, you know, give it a little pressure, a little bit, and make sure it's, you know, it doesn't click one more time. If it doesn't click one more time, you're good. So we're good Clean over up there. the silicone, seal it back up, fill it up with coolant, on to the next day. Right. Okay. All right. So that's it. Pretty much done with Water this, right? Done.